Hello, and welcome to another edition of Conspirator Brock's Pull List. This is my pull list for the week of March 16th, 2016. So let's get right into it. Um, first up on the pull list is The Adventures of Archer and Armstrong, number one. Um, came out today. Uh, there are first and second prints out there on the shelves, so be a little wary. I don't know what's going on with Valiant and their uh, inability to fill um, orders for their first prints, but with Faith, uh, it was very underprinted. You, yeah, I don't know. So just be wary of what print you're getting if you are into that sort of thing. Next up is Batman and Robin number Eternal number 24. Um, I still need to read... 23 issues before that so i know the first volume of it came out uh on trade and trade paperback so <laughs> uh, yeah i need to get caught up on that one um uh, next up is dr fate number 10 i'm actually caught up with dr fate overall it's okay it's not something that um i would keep on my pull list normally at this point i would probably just get rid of it um but since rebirth is coming out and all these books are ending i'm just kind of finishing it out so i can um most likely just get rid of it on ebay next up we have imperium number 14 i am god knows how many issues behind on that book but i'm looking forward to reading it because those imperium has been really really good <clears throat> next up is a giant book uh by giant i mean thick and pricey uh, it's Legends of Tomorrow Anthology uh, from DC number one. Uh, looks like it's got some uh, cool stuff going on in it. I'm curious to see uh, some stories told from the Legends of Tomorrow universe. So we shall see how that goes. Next up is Lucifer number four. Um, that's how many issues I need to read. Hopefully it's good. Next up is Martian Manhunter number 10. Um, I'm all caught up with Martian Manhunter. It's overall okay. It's a bit kind of all over the place at times. Um, so hopefully it kind of writes itself and becomes a better story overall. Um, but I am enjoying some aspects of it. So we'll see. Next up is a book that I'm, that I'm loving completely. And it's uh, Poison Ivy, Cycle of Life and Death, number three of six. Uh, the first two issues of this book are amazing. And I can't wait to see, read issue three. Um, yeah, just good, good stuff. Good, solid Poison Ivy story. Um, so for those of you who like Poison Ivy or are curious, I would highly recommend picking up that book. Next up, we have Robin, Son of Batman, number 10. I got caught up with Robin, Son of Batman. Uh, it flowed very well and then had um, a crossover with the uh, Robin War, which really just jarred the whole story that was going on in that book. And then they had this kind of one shot story in there of him remembering something and then now they're starting back up on another story arc to finish it out but it, i think that that book suffered greatly from the whole robin war thing especially with how everything tied in but overall i've been enjoying it except for the hiccup that has been robin war uh, in the middle next up is sinestro 21 uh got caught up with sinestro awesome awesome stuff it's the only lantern book i'm buying right now because it's so great uh, if you haven't read sinestro i highly recommend going back and reading it despite the fact that everything's going to be rebirthed in a few months uh then last up on the pull list is wrath of the eternal warrior number five um i don't think i featured four on here because we got shorted um and i didn't we didn't get it until much later so yeah but uh, I've read, I think, the first issue. I enjoyed it, so I'm looking forward to getting caught up with the rest of them. I'm almost caught up with my DC short box of reads. And, and then once I finish that, I can start plowing away at the independent short box. Um, I did. Get, there were a bunch of Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice variants um, this week. Uh, also, poly bat. These, these are some of these are poly bagged versions. Um, so you'll get uh, a chance to either get a color copy, a a uh, kind of color copy in a black and white. Um, so uh, open at your own peril. Some stores are opting to open some for you so you can grab it. I know we opened all of ours because it's not, what's the point? Um, but I did pick up one and that was for uh, Robinson of Batman number 10. It was Otley artwork and it has Superman beating the crap out of Batman. Um, and there's some blood involved. So it's always good, good stuff. 
Uh, I did pick up a trade this week, um, and that was Batman Volume 8, Super Heavy. Uh, this is starts the Jim Gordon as Batman stuff in the New 52 Batman. Uh, I've enjoyed it. It's been really good, um, so I'm going to keep going with it. I'm curious to see how Batman kind of ends on Snyder's run, but Snyder's done an amazing, amazing job. So that's it for the pull list. Um, those are the titles that I brought home for my collection. Now we're on to the read list. Um, let me make sure I'm all set up here for you. All right, so first up on the read list is Extraordinary X-Men number eight. This starts the Apocalypse Wars. Um, curious to see how that goes. Extraordinary X-Men's been an amazing book. Uh, it's the only X title I've enjoyed reading in a long time. Jeff Lemire does a really solid job on that book. And uh, for those of you who are curious about getting into X-Men, I highly recommend Extraordinary X-Men. Uh, next up is Green Arrow number 50. Uh, awesome Patrick Zercher cover on this one uh, with Deathstroke and Green Arrow in the background. Um, I love Green Arrow. It's been a solid, solid book since um, uh, since Lemire and Sorrentino did a great job on it. Um, and uh, I'm curious to see how it ends with Rebirth. Next up is Huck, issue 5. This is Mark Millar's kind of alt-Superman book. Um, it's been good so far. I'm curious to see where it goes. Uh, it's um, it's Mark Millar, so it, it'll probably be delayed towards the end and then have a crappy ending, but who knows. Uh, next up is International Iron Man number 1. I have no idea if this is replacing Invincible Iron Man or if this is now just another Iron Man title. Who knows? I mean, Brian Michael Bendis is writing it. You couldn't just stick with the one Iron Man book you were writing. Now you have to write two. We'll see. Uh, next up is Power Man and Iron Fist. Ooh, excuse me, take a shot. Um, Power Man and Iron Fist number two. I read the first issue. It was okay. I'm curious to see where it goes. Um, hopefully it stays on the pull list, but... I don't know. It's kind of tilting towards the knot. Uh, next up, we have Scarlet Witch number four. Um, this stuff has been really, really good from James Robinson. I've enjoyed it so far, and I can't wait to read more about the Scarlet Witch. Next up, we have Star Wars Kanan uh, number 12. Uh, all the Star Wars books that are coming out right now are just really solid. Kanan, despite it being... Uh, attached to Rebels has been a really, really good read. It makes me want to actually go and watch Rebels. Um, so every time I see those Blu-ray sets at Target or something, I'm curious. I'm like, oh, I should pick those up and watch them. Um, but I'm probably going to try and check it out on one of those internet streaming services. Uh, next up is Superman 50. I'm reading it because it's issue 50. Uh, then we have Superman Wonder Woman number 27. Um... Tomasi's just knocked it out of the park with this series. Um, I'm sad to see it go, but it's um, overall just really solid stuff. I can't wait to actually get um, it in trade, so I have a nice solid collection of it. Excuse me, take your second shot. Uh, next up is Uncanny Inhumans number six. Um, eh, it's been okay. Soul's been doing an okay job with it. Um, I'm not completely impressed with the Inhumans um, that we have after with the all new, all different. Um, but for the most part, I'm, I'm still plugging along and seeing how, how it goes. So that's pretty much it. Oh, excuse me, sorry for that. Um, there's a couple books I didn't grab, um, because there wasn't just not enough copies. Um, we have all new Inhumans number five came out this week as well as Star Lord number five. If you're curious about a full list, um, that's has more than what my pull list and read list has on it you can go to comicsconspiracy.biz and click on new releases and that'll take you to a page that'll show you what new releases are out this week um i will mention there was a couple trades that came out this week or graphic novels that came out of interest secret wars the collection came out uh the price on the back says 50 bucks the price in our system says 49.99 i have no idea why um, Archie Volume 1, so for those of you who missed out on reading Archie, uh, the Mark Wade and Fiona Staple stuff has been really good, um, so the first trade of that is out, if you wanted to snatch that up and check it out. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, excuse me, not too much else came out. Um, I did grab a, I did get a couple of things this week, um, one of them was a Guardians of the Galaxy t-shirt. Nice little emblem t-shirt there for Guardians of the Galaxy. Kind of dark grayish. 
Um, yeah, it's hard for me to get Marvel t-shirts I like, because most of the time they're like the full fucking shirt, and it sucks. Um, but that one was just a nice little decal on the front. So good job, Marvel, for actually getting putting out something I want. Uh, next up is something I had to snag um, from... Uh, well, I didn't have to snag. I had... Um, I had to have uh, my buddy Lane, if you know, if you've listened to the podcast, you know who Lane is. Awesome, awesome guy. He grabbed me a cop, um, a Hot Topic exclusive Game of Thrones or Drogon um, Hot Topic exclusive Funko Pop. I have, um, I have Viscera. I'm butchering the name of the dragon. Um, the only one I need is the green one, uh, which hopefully we will get in uh, in the next week or so. And then one more Funko was on the list this week, and it's giant, and it's awesome, and if you don't have it, you need to get it. It is the Rancor with Luke Skywalker and Slave Ola. Yep, Return of the Jedi fans, there's a Rancor right there. This one is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. It clocks in at about 40 bucks, so uh, be prepared for your wallet to take a ding on that. But yeah. Uh, if some of you have noticed in the background of my um, video, the bookshelf is a little sparse. Um, it's missing a couple omnibuses. The reason for this is they are being used to press something. Um, I got back from Disneyland um, this for this past weekend, uh, and my m me and my beautiful wife had a caricature done, and the rain kind of got it a little wet, so we needed to press it down and flatten it out to make it work so that's what my omnibuses are doing right now is um smashing a caricature of me and my lovely wife um i will show you what that caricature is once we get it in a little bit better condition than it currently is um, but i did have a great great time at disneyland uh got a bunch of pins uh rode some rides had some really really good food um being vegan it makes a um Food choice is a little more difficult, but Disneyland does an amazing, amazing job um, with uh, with um, accommodating people with certain dietary needs, like myself. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm getting tired. It's late. Uh, daylight savings sucks, ball sacks. So if any of you agree, you can make a comment down below. But, uh, yep, thanks again for watching. Um, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. Um, you can also please share it with your friends. Uh, let them know that there is a ginger guy who talks about his comics and some random comic stuff and when he can. Um, that's uh, pretty interesting. Uh, other than that, you can follow me on Twitter. My handle is at Brock Sager. Uh, I've been posting a lot of stuff, pictures from Disneyland this past weekend, which Ryan um, got irritated with me at, but that's okay. You can also listen to me on the Comic Conspiracy podcast. Uh, we just recorded episode 252 where we had a guest on, and uh, yeah, it was pretty cool. We've had two guests in two weeks. Awesome, awesome stuff. Uh, so you should definitely check that out. There'll be a link in the description below for you to see that. Um, what else do I got on, on my plate here? Not much else is going on. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this week. Uh, again, leave comments down below. Let me know what you're getting. Uh, you know, let me know how, uh, what you like about the channel, all that wonderful stuff. Um, always looking to try and get some new content up as much as I can. Uh, so we'll see if I can get some new stuff up. I have a bunch of statues that I should, I need to try and do openings for. Uh, but again, it's two kids is a time suck. I love those little little guys, but they suck so much time. So again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next week.